If you cut me in half, you will find the following items. Mince pies, big Christmas. You'll probably find the odd waffle from previous Mizuno videos. A matchbox toy car. Long story, we won't get into that. And my big blue Mizuno heart. However, my heart is dedicated to Mizuno irons only. The driver's never really got a look in. It's never made it into the anatomy of Al. Come to think of it, that's probably not a bad thing. But if you didn't know already, the year is 2020 and it's time for the new Mizuno ST200 driver. Is this good enough to replace one of Owl's vital organs? Man, that sounds very wrong. Yes, I know, the review is late. We've overshot the embargo by a good few weeks, but there's nobody else to blame except for Matt. It's your fault. It's all your fault that this has happened. Just, it is. Apart from it saying ST200, I look at this driver and in my mind I see the letter S. Trust me, the S does not stand for salad. It's safe. It's a very, very safe design. It looks very similar to the previous model. I don't know why I did the high-pitched voice there. It's very, very similar. Um, it's not like a, wow, look how different it is. It's, it's, it's very similar. But it's very smart, which brings us on to the second S. It's a smart looking driver, very, very traditional. If you don't want the bells and whistles and things hanging off of it, like I've said in previous reviews, this is probably going to be your driver. And the third one, it is not blue. Definitely a positive. Third S, Smurfless. We have not got the Smurf blue. Smurfs have been left out. See you later, old news. And the fourth S, I've hit this. It is extremely solid. It's a Mizuno driver. Yes, it's not gonna be the headlines. You're probably not even gonna try it, which is your fault, not mine. PGA show, I hit this in Gale Force wins, and yeah, it was good. Would you want to see something really cool? Watch this. You watch him. Watch. So watch him. Warm up swing, 277 meters carry. I don't drop it. Mic drop, safe. Yeah. Make no mistake, Mizuno drivers have always performed. Always. As good as anything out there, to be quite honest with you. But there's a good chance you, yes I'm pointing at you, are not going to try it. Because it's a Mizuno driver. Which is fair enough. It's your, your call, not mine. I can't tell you what to do. It's your decision. You get fitted, you do, we get it. Which brings me on to the next part, which is probably a negative. If you've never had any experience or know how good a Mizuno driver can be, there's a good chance you're going to see this on the shelf with the competitors and just walk straight past it. If you didn't already get it, that was me demonstrating me walking past it with it on the shelf and I just ignored it and... <sighs> ah. To be fair, I have blocked that so far right, but it just carried 284 meters. Okay. I mean, let's quickly think of the positives of that shot. Yes, it's gone in someone's garden, which is not really a positive, but the positives are that garden's never seen a golf ball before. It's gone that far. So it's networking. Hashtag public barbecue. Never met that guy before, ever. Yeah, no one's ever been to house number 14 before. We've been to 10 and we've been to eight, but 14, yeah, it's the cobwebs all over the garden. No one's ever been in there. What are you talking about? In a nutshell, I think it lacks some sort of wow factor. That's not going to offend anyone. I mean, well, it looks very good there. Very, very good in fact. Okay, maybe I take it back. Watch this one. Like, that's joking aside, that's right side of the fairway. It's in the rough on the right. 
it's carried 285 meters again. And this is the lightsaber of choice. Diamonet 60 stiff. So it's not as stiff as what I'd usually use and it's not as heavy. So there is that, which is probably why we're heading again to the 3000 backspin in the loft's nine and a half. I feel, like I, have to, I feel like I have to show you that, otherwise you wouldn't believe me. But there you go, nine and a half, told you. The, the driver in this range that's probably gonna appeal to me more is the G. I mean, we can move the CG around, push everything forward, have a lot of fun. If you wanna see that review, all you gotta do is comment down ST200G and I will do that this week, I promise you. So I've been chatting quite a lot with my Yorkshire pal, James Robinson, about this particular driver. It performs extremely well. I wasn't overly keen when I first saw it. I do this a lot, hit it, change my mind pretty quickly. But one thing that we did definitely agree on, and he mentioned it in his review as well, was the loft. Like I say, this is a nine and a half, but at address, could easily qualify as a 10 and a half, maybe even an 11. <laughs> A lot of loft for a nine and a half, good and bad. I think Robbo said that he doesn't like a lot of loft or doesn't like to see a lot of loft behind the ball. I'm the opposite. As long as I know it is actually a nine and a half, it can look like a pitching wedge. I don't care. As long as it doesn't actually fly like a pitching wedge. <laughs> Healy. In the hole, Healy. Just healed that 276 meters carry. Heels. <laughs> so let's quickly dive into what this ST200 is offering us in terms of technology. So Mizuno is saying this face of the ST200 driver is 70% stronger than previous models. Multi thickness design and it's forged with an SAT 2041 beta titanium straight off of the set of Blade Runner. Mizuno are also saying that they managed to combine low spin and forgiveness for an ultimate driver package. Out of those two, I definitely get the forgiveness. I mean, I've visited every location on this face up to yet. So the main culprit for the forgiveness is this weighting at the back. High MOI achieved from placing 11.5, 11.6 gram weighting in the back of the driver. We haven't done a driver head cover appreciation segment in a review in a long while. I think now's probably the time. Can we just take five seconds to admire this? That's five, right? Great. It looks beautiful in someone's back garden. I like it over there. Not the driver's fault before you say anything. Square to path where my path happens to be over there. But would I game it? That weenie thing, as small as it may be, could be the difference between me gaming it and not gaming it. Could happen. It could happen. But if I was to be a golf driver, obviously I'm a bit of a loon. This doesn't really reflect my personality, does it? This would be more of a professional, not going to dress up in big foot suits or wear wigs kind of person. Where, on the other hand, drivers out there, which is like, yeah, this guy dresses up on weekends. Don't tell anyone. Bottom of the face, very straight. On the green. 2.8 to carry. Sauce. So as you can tell with this review, I haven't gone tech heavy because this was released in 1924. The year is now 3065. You would have seen many reviews in that time, I'm sure. There's no point regurgitating. So that's gonna be a lower spin because it came out of the crown. Just strike, let it down but it's just tap it in. 2,000 backspin. It's just a shame that I hit it here. That's the only thing that let it down. I'm gonna get the, get the G. I might even, if you want me to, take the G out on the course. I want some dirty low spinners. Love that. That flight that I need to beat Matty at TXG. I'm training Matty, all right, mate? I'm coming for you. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Right. That was a bizarre flight. But 284 on the fly. 180 ball speed from only 121 club head speed. So I was the kid that would go to a museum and it, this red button would say, do not press. Would always have to press it. So I always do what you shouldn't do and I should, I should stop hitting balls right now, but I can't. It's like the Mizuno day. I was just there like, just smashing balls into a gale force wind for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Couldn't see the flight, had no numbers. <laughs> That's my max, I think, out of this setup. Oh my goodness, it's gone in the hole. So that's gone two, just short, 289 on the fly, 290 because we're all friends here on the fly. Right, we've just, can we just say, we've just hit 14 shots, mixed bag of everything. It's a pick and mix what it was but it gives us an incredible average carry 280 standard head nine and a half stiff stock stiff 60 gram soz giving us a total of 297 so that's just short of the 330 yards for all you yard yardageites out there i'll put the translation down below Backspin 2922, for me that's like 600, 700, ah, oh, 1000 RPM too much. We don't mind a 1900 RPM, do we? But it's controllable. Launch, I mean, ball speed 179, club head speed 122. It's not the fastest club head speed we've ever seen in the world for me, but I felt controlled with it. I felt confident, I felt comfortable, except for the few I've hit into uh, number 10 Downing Street. That's me, not the driver. So all that's left for me to say, without going over and over and over again, is give it a shot. I've said this with every Mizuno driver, and if you still don't listen to me, then sausage finger, all right? Get, try it. What's the worst that can happen? It's gonna cost you 10 minutes to go, nah, you know what, I've tried it, not for me. Hit it, oh, bloody hell, it actually flies. So if you have any questions, slam them in the comment section down below. Thank you, as always, for watching. My social media links are below. Make sure you give me a follow on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Tag me in. Always love hearing from you. And of course, if you want to, you can hit the subscribe thing because we've got more videos like this. Don't know what kind of video this class is as. A mess, probably. But thank you, as always, for watching.